What's up guys? Uh, welcome to a very new video idea I'm bringing to the channel. It's going to be a podcast style visual. Uh, we're going to be talking with different uh, Team Misfit members. It's a, it's, a, it's a new team I'm coming up with. So, uh, Jake Paul, I'm coming for you. Yeah. And yes, uh, the squad is dead, but we'll get more in depth with that with our guest. Um, so if you want to watch the squad, go watch David Dobrik. Because for us, the, the squad is it's dead. It's gone. We're, 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 I'm now forming a team uh, to compete against uh, other teams. Yeah. Anyways, before we get started today, I want to give a big, big shout out for this week. Because, oh my god, this week has been amazing. We have had the 4th of July. But tomorrow, July 7th, is a big day also for U.S. soccer fans, I would say. Um... The Women's World Cup is tomorrow, the final, and Team USA is playing in the final. But then later in the day, uh, the men are in their final too. So hey, you're a soccer fan, you're a U.S. soccer fan. That is amazing, and it's where we're gonna get to see uh, it's where we're gonna see uh, the legend right here, Alex Morgan. Look at that, just sipping sipping some tea, you know. Also, uh, <coughs> on the list of, uh, so, so, uh, celebrity credit card, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then we're also going to see my other favorite player, uh, right here. Oh, man, the wonder boy himself, uh, Christian Pulisic. So, uh, congratulations to both teams, Team USA. Let's go, let's get the trophy, because they're both defending champions. So, sorry. You know, because tomorrow it's literally all or nothing. So yes, uh, so now let's introduce our guest. Uh, she is probably one of the most fair people to not only record with, but also for you guys to watch. She may not be Alex Morgan, but I guess it's funny to say that she's our version of Alex Morgan. She uh, has this weird brand of spray, it's called uh, Morphine, and um, she wants time punched someone so hard that she she broke his toes. I don't know how that happened. Anyways, let's introduce Team Misfit member, your favorite Team Misfit member. Number 22, Alicia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no, thank you. I am here. Yes. So, hey, it's, uh, it's been a while. Yes, it has. Uh, the invites are short. Yes. So, uh, hey, how how you been? How how's life since uh, the last time we've seen? You? I'm busy. Lots of stuff going on. I'd say. Um, you know, life never gets dull out in Delaware. I know. I've been told that I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I <laughs> I've been told that uh, Delaware misses me. Shout out to Delaware. Uh, coming back in five months. I mean, I'm invited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, let's let's talk about. We're gonna talk about the squad, I think, but let's talk about something else. Um, <clears throat> so, people that know you, that've seen you, you've done a lot of cool things. Mm -hmm. we've, you know, we've broken some stuff. We've went to certain places to film stuff. Sometimes you and me will film with Allison and we'll go to places. But I think the thing that people want to know is, uh, so you're in school. Yes. And you, you want to be a teacher, but you ultimately want to be a principal. Yes. So I think the question is, at what point were you woke? did you wake up and you're like, hey, this is what I'm going to do? Or was there like a certain teacher that you looked up to and you were like, I'm going to be like that person and do what they do? Okay. Well, I'd say growing up, I had a few really dope teachers. Um, starting in middle school, going on to elementary school. Uh, shout out to those teachers. Mr. Johnson, where you at? <laughs> anyway. They were always cool, made learning fun, turned stuff into interesting topics, made kids laugh. And I feel like that's the number one thing. Um, when I was a kid, I don't know, I've always liked helping people. 
and uh, being a nurse is just hard and that's helping people but that's too much for me and being a vet uh, it's a lot of schooling so I was like you know teaching it's the way to go Nice. Like, like helping people. Uh, if you could pick the type of teacher you think you, you're going to be, what what type or what category would you fall under? Like, are you the the cool teacher, straight teacher, the teacher that's both, or like that teacher that's real? Because I had a teacher in high school, and she was really real with us. Mm -hmm. So like, if you made her mad, she would curse. But she was really cool because she she was like real down to earth. It was like really relatable. Mm -hmm. You know, that's made our cool teacher. I feel if I was going to be any of these teachers, I am working with younger kids, so I don't know if I could be as real, but I know I'm going to be that teacher that talks to the kids like they're adults, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to treat them like they are actual people. And I will make learning fun, because I am a very, I hate serious stuff. I find it so boring. So I'm going to make everything into a game. It'll be a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of adventures. And, um, but I will lay down the law. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Question. So if I, if I was, <laughs> if one of her students were like me, right? Oh, or let's say, let's say, let's say in a, in a, in a metaphorical sense, if I was one of your students, would I be a good student, bad student, or kicked out of your class? You know, I feel like you would be that one student that I would, I would call you my, my best friend. <laughs> I have you close to my desk. I would constantly have my eye on you. And I would try to make you participate in class. There's a category of student <laughs> called best friend. It's called, you will be my teacher's best. <laughs> I don't know, because uh, I have fun when I'm supposed to have fun. But I also... Can goof off. So it means like when it's like a, I don't know, like paperwork or stuff in school, I'm always like doing it. But when it's like when I can goof off, I'll goof off too. That's me. Okay, well in that case, I don't feel like you'd be that hard to have in class. I just feel like every so often you would just disrupt the whole class with a joke or something like that. I feel like I'd use the principal a lot with all the pranks and stuff. <laughs> Shout out to all the pranksters at school. Alright, uh, next question I'm going to ask you. I haven't been really specific on what I'm doing, but I have said a few things. Uh, what do you think of the new idea I have for a uh, team Do you think, uh, what are your thoughts so far? Um, I'm excited. I feel like it's going to be new, different, better than the squad almost. Like it's its own thing. I'm, I'm excited for it. It's going to be a change. <clears throat> so, summer has started. What, what, what are things you've done and what are things you're going to do for the rest of summer? Or I guess until it turns fall. I know that um, I have a festival to go to. That'll be a lot of fun. Never been to one of those. Um, outside of Warped Tour. I'm also planning on doing a lot of adventures, like mini vacation type things with like the squad that's kind of dead but you know the group and um I feel I'm also gonna have a bunch of just like random little mini vacations and stuff like that I just I'm I'm excited for the rest of the summer I'm not done I still have a uh, Florida trip to go on with you actually and our cameraman or not come for you <laughs> <laughs> uh so if you I know it's hard, but if you could predict any future video ideas you think that I'm going to come up with, what, what would you think? Like, what, what, what would you think I, I, I'm going to do next? I feel like you're going to pull, like, <clears throat> pull, like, a, a David Dobrik type of move. I feel like it's going to be something big. Like, it's going to be, like, I feel like you're going to, like, either travel somewhere spontaneously and just, like, not tell anybody 
or like you're gonna or you're just gonna randomly pick people up and go somewhere crazy or I, I could see like a dry ice or like something crazy like you're just gonna show up with like a box of dry ice I feel or I don't know I just I can see you doing it yeah I have a I have a lot of plans I have I have one idea that I'm gonna say at the end that involves me and one of my brothers and uh, it's cool because we've never been able to compete against each other really because mm -hmm. of our age difference but uh doing this the whole planning it me and him did mm -hmm. so so during that experience we we bonded a lot and i think even though there will ultimately be one winner i think that um <clears throat> the whole process is going to bring me and my brother a lot closer together in that sort of thing but i also, I also have a lot of videos for the new uh, team misfit videos I introduce a whole different new cast of uh, friends that uh, they have no idea. They have no idea. The camera person has no idea. John has no idea. You haven't. Met I haven't been told that, anything so. at all. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> so speaking of videos, you had to pick favorite video. Let's let's start off with Allison's first. Um, what's your favorite video on her channel? Um. I'd say Allison has had a few pretty good ones, um, although I feel like they're like unsung heroes. Like uh, we went to, I don't know what the video is called, but one of them we went to a Dick's Sporting Goods and we just like danced around it and we like filmed little skits. Ed, you're in that video. Um, it's It was fun. It was fun to make. Um, another one, we've been... We've done a few of my birthday videos, ended up turning out really good because she started doing like these like pam panoramic type things where she was like showing the scenery. I don't know, she she's gone come a long way with her videos. I'm proud. They're really good. Yeah, shout out to Allison. Her channel link will be in the description. Just, just subscribe. We do some 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 stuff over there. Yeah. Some her and her uh, her people. <laughs> she's gonna get mad at me for today. Um, so on my channel, what's, what's like the one video, like the one, like when, when, uh, I don't know, let's say you ever meet someone, right? And you're like, Hey, I have a friend who does videos and which, what's like the one video you show them? Like the one. I will say probably the one that has all the best moments in it is your rewind video. That one was funny and inventive and really good. Um, I also, I gotta, I gotta like back up a minute because like I'm, I took over your channel for about a week or two, so my videos are up there, so I'm like kind of biased, <laughs> but your rewind is super good. It has all your good points in all of your videos, so plus it shows all the highlights. Me too. Hard this year. I'll make it dope. Put everything in. He's got you. This YouTube rewind would be great if you let him do it. Oh, you don't understand. I, I'm i obsessed with uh, outdoing myself. So I've already started on this year's uh, end of the year rewind video. And I can already tell that it's going to be a lot better than last year's. Look, last year's will look like trash compared to this year's. Like, I'm doing a lot of production-wise stuff to make it look really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> this I'll take, I'll, we'll, uh, we'll throw some randomness in there. Let's say you owned a farm or a ranch or something. I'll describe where, where, where would you put the different animals? Where would I put? Like, yeah, so you have a, you have a ranch, right? So, like, for example, where would the, where would the pigs go? Um, inside, outside, from I feel the outside. Like, I feel like all the animals should be outside not like i'll have like an indoor place for them if there's a storm but like i feel like they should all be able to be outside enjoy the sun enjoy the weather you know okay but if you drive up to it right mm -hmm. are they on the side are they in the back oh yeah I, I, that. I feel like i feel like i would want them to be like right off right off to the side like right next to the barn so like i can easily move them in and they'd be like right on the side right in a convenient spot also i could have my garden more on the front because i feel like it's it'd be prettier to like, drive in on a garden you know like, just right in all my plants right there okay um you have horses right 
Mm -hmm. Where where's their location at? Oh, they, they need a lot of land. So so are they in the front of the barn or in the back of the barn? Well, where, where are they at? I feel like if I had a big open backyard, I feel like I'd just have the backyard fenced in and just let them like run free, man. Like just go um, all over. No, so you're gonna you're gonna put the horses in the back. <laughs> It's muddy, muddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of the, all the places we've gone to, you know, like your birthday video, we're in the middle of who knows where, uh, or out of the ab abandoned places we explored, which one do you like the most? Like, which one is is you? The one you abandoned places, or like any place we like explored? any place you've been to that it's not. Allison's house, your house, John's house. Hmm. Let's see. I feel like we would, we've had a lot of fun when we go to the city. Like the time when we went to see Panic at the Disco. Panic, love you. We had a lot of fun, like in the city, going up to the Panic um, the place we went to go see him. And then we had like a blast during that concert. It's just great. So I feel like that was the most fun I've had. Um, although I did really enjoy going to the beach from my beach house or house that we did out in uh, Delaware. That was fun too. You get a friend that gives you a house. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> so uh, let's do something that hasn't been captured on video. What's your uh, party life looking like? Okay, that has changed dramatically. I have been to a lot of house parties. It's crazy. And I know you have had your party life too going uphill. So it's not just me in here. Uh, we've been having a blast this summer. Like, I don't know. Like, my newfound friends, some of them are rich. And they're in the rich part of New York. So I've been partying on yachts. Like what? <laughs> I shop at Walmart. <laughs> That's why she doesn't come over as much. It's <laughs> alright. It's cool. It is what it is. You guys can come next time. <laughs> Do you think, you think the internet, YouTube, would be ready to see, <laughs> to see a video where we just happen to be partying at the same place? Do you think the, the world is ready for that? Because... My honest opinion, I don't think y'all are ready. I don't think no. y'all can't handle party at party Alicia. I don't know. Are you guys ready for that life? It's a lot. It's a lot of responsibility you're putting on them. I don't know, Ed. I don't know. Speaking of parties, I have been <coughs> named uh, Party King. You know, because of stuff last year and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, except this this time this year I've learned to uh, I wanted to branch out a little bit to not be known for doing um, the big stuff on parties and stuff like that and so <clears throat> people wanted to know like what I did last year I just went to a football game for my party still on last one uh, this year I think I'm gonna lose the the name party king to either to someone on the team, like a girl or a guy, will they'll, you know, be be that person. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just my age, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything this year for my birthday. I don't think I'm in the I'm in that type of party mood. Maybe like go out sometimes, maybe, but like not not stuff. Not not really. Not really interesting. No, for real. Like I don't want anyone to do anything to get me anything like I just I might just sleep the whole day the birthday me not yet December yeah. um so okay <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a clip okay this clip is going to uh describe kind of the idea of the new team I'm putting together okay. like the, the people that are gonna be in it type of way Okay. Like, like, like that. So I'm gonna put a big screen because the, the fair use policy on YouTube allows us to uh, react to certain things. All right, it's nine minutes long. 
just you gotta really listen to it. So I'll play it a couple times. Really listen to it. Don't look at what they're doing. Just listen to it. Yeah. Doesn't matter. There are only four rules you need to remember. Make the plan. Execute the plan. Expect the plan to go off the rails. Throw away the plan. That's it. Nice, easy, and to the point. Four rules. Yeah. That's uh, that's that's how I think the team's gonna go. Probably. And I think with the people in it, we will still be dysfunctional as the old group was, but in a in a more in a better way than than we were. So let's get to the, to the reason why people would click on this video based on like the title I give it to you in this video. Um, the 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 squad, you know, formerly known as squad. Um, I haven't posted a video yet, but if you watch this part, the squad is dead. Like basically, it is dead. There's no bringing it back. It's it's in the past. We had good times, but now it's like a a new chapter. So, what are your thoughts on like the squad dying? You know, kind of saw it coming. We all started doing our own things. We started like, I don't know, we just kind of like, everybody got busy. Like, no one's like around anymore. And like, I know I've gotten busy too. So like, I'm not always around. And like, I don't know, I feel like we just grew in different directions. But you know, I feel this new group, the Misfits, is going to be amazing. I feel like it's going to be like, Squad times 10. It's going to be more fun, more adventurous, more crazy. People might actually stay in contact. That was our worst thing, communication. Yes. Um, I think this new team I've been putting together, I have recruited some people in it. And I think they fit in very well. I, I still don't know how we all match together. Because we've never hung out as a team before. And I have an idea to kind of put ourselves in an environment where... Uh, you'll get to know them and they'll get to know you and stuff like that mm -hmm. um, but yeah uh, this team is made from this team is opposite from the squad because uh, I saw like where the where the squad was like uh, weak at mm -hmm. so with this new team I'm applying strengths that we had some mm -hmm. of us but with like more stuff to help us like stay together because a team no matter what will always come back together even if they have to be gone for a certain amount of time which is the cool idea for a, a team basically because you'll be gone sometimes uh, John will be gone but then we'll have like a certain amount of people to where it's still like a group thing and then no matter what like a team always comes together like uh, you like sports like off season they all go off do their own thing but then when the season starts again you know they they come back so I think that's cool um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a segment with you. Okay. Uh, it's called Fun Facts. Where we do, uh, we uh, do, uh, you know, fun facts. So, <clears throat> for people that drive, I bet you, you drive a lot too. Mm -hmm. Uh, here's a fun fact. The average person spent six months of their lifetime waiting on a red light to turn green. Wow, I'm wasting a lot of my life away. Interesting. It's kind of sad. <laughs> yep. Um, also, uh, for people that, uh, you know, are like, I don't want to really sleep a lot. I'm more of a will watch TV. Uh, apparently, you burn more calories sleeping than you do watching TV. So. Well, that means our friend uh, Alec is burning a lot of calories. Whoa! There, yeah, we have a hawk in the, the background. Um. Uh, this one, mm, you could take it the right way and the wrong way. I'll explain it later. But in uh, this fact is, uh, if you believe that you are truly one in a million, there are still approximately seven thousand one hundred eighty-four more people out there just like you. Mm. So essentially, say this is saying that besides you. There's 7,183 people just like you. That's a lot of Alicia's. That, 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 that's a, too many Alicia's for one world. Um, I would send some of them, send them away. Hey, listen, all the people like me, let's get together. 
Let's throw a party the world has never seen. Uh, let's 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 cause some chaos. It's gonna be fun, and no one else is invited. Just us. So, who's gonna stop our party? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I feel like but, all the Alicia's you know, are gonna people, stop the party. Some people might take this wrong way because they're like, um, um. There's like there isn't really anyone like me. Like I'm special. But now they hear this and they're like, I'm not. But it's also good news because if you ever think you're alone. Or you'll have no friends. Well, hey, there's a bunch of other people just like you. So, yeah. Well, I feel like that's not even... Like, I mean, I understand. We all are. We, there is a lot of like us. There is a lot of people like me out there. I know. Met some. They're really dope. Um, just as busy as me, though. But really dope. Um, I would say... Actually, I changed my mind. I feel like I'd really like to be friends with my people. I feel like we would all just go mess up Ed's people's stuff. For every Ed, there's another Alicia. Maybe. And if there is, then the world is done. <laughs> uh, I like this fact a lot, because I keep joking around with Allison that it's eventually going to happen. Like, I'm actually going... Yeah, I'll just read it, and it'll make more sense. Men are six times more likely to be struck by lightning than women. Okay. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Listen, childhood dream... Get super speed like the Flash. I'm a man. I'm six times more likely to get struck by lightning. So Allison, you can suck it because it's a fact. <laughs> she's really, <laughs> she's really gonna get mad at me. I'm uh, sure she will. <laughs> so we all know the book Guinness Book of World Records. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, uh, it also broke a record for being the most stolen book in a public library. Really? Wow. A lot of people want to know records. Well, hey. Pretty cool. Messed up, too. That's really messed up. You know what? I wonder how many of those people who broke records stole the book. And do they have a record for stealing the more Guinness Book of World Records record? Oh my gosh. What if that's a record in the book? If it's it just is. a person with, like, Guinness books all the way up to the ceiling. Yeah. If it is, I'm going to break that record. We have to, you know what? Let's because I'm going to steal it from that person, plus two other people. Oh my steal their stash. Uh, do you like honey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently honey never spoils. That's very convenient. Yeah. So, you know, zombie apocalypse? Save some honey. So, uh, you drink milk. Are you lactose intolerant? No, but our cameraman is. Allison. Well, apparently, more people are allergic to cow's milk than any other food. Mm. Poor those people. They can't enjoy ice cream. That's sad. Anyways. <laughs> Y'all be careful out there uh, consuming milk. Don't die. I need that new views. <laughs> uh, and that was our segment for uh, fun facts. Awesome. Great. Awesome. <clears throat> I have uh, so we so we discussed future video ideas. I have one. I want to show a clip of this. I really do want to do this. Don't know how it'll work. I don't know who my partner in this would be, but I want to get your opinion on it. Okay. How it's possible, and then I want to get the viewer's opinion on it to see you know. If it is possible, if I can actually pull pull this off. Alright. At times like these, when life is getting me down, and the world seems like it's gonna end, ship, there's at least one power that we both still have, and that's the power of friendship. Yeah, this is exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's an easy rhyme. I'm your super friend, your super friend, I'll be there in the nick of time if you're ever in a spot. And if you're not there in time, you can just go back in time and give it another shot. I'm actually not supposed to do that anymore. Oh, okay. Sing! I'm your super friend. So, yeah, what do you think? You know what that looks like? It would it'd be hard to do if you don't have the right partner, but it looks like it'd be a lot of fun, though. 
Like, I would do it. I'd do it. Oh, okay. The flash has to happen. Who's going to be your partner, though? Like, is it going to be a girl, a boy? You know what? I don't even know. No, I'm just going to find out. See, uh, David? No. David? <laughs> that'd be really... I, that'd be funny, though. Right? So, do you have a celebrity crush? I mean, Deadpool. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So, other than, uh, you know, Alex, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alex Morgan. Listen, I'm just saying she's pretty dope. I follow her on Instagram and she posts some pretty cool, cool stuff. But anyways, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Uh, I want to show you this, this other clip. This is when I really, like, <laughs> okay, when I watched this episode and I was like, Watching it, I was watching her sing. I was like, "Wow!" You know, like that. Wow, that's like, whoa. You know what I mean? You know, when, like the. You thirsty, bro? Listen, I'm just saying, okay, I saw that video, almost cried, almost cried. I mean, yeah, she's, she's pretty, I mean. Bro, I saw, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean when you guys are going to learn stuff that you didn't think you'll learn from me. I saw this one, and I felt like I was there, I was like, whoa, like, whoa. Like, I knew she could sing, but I've never seen a show where she actually saw her, and then she did, and I was like, yeah, whatever. What? Anyways, we'll move on to the next thing. What would you do if you saw her in person? It, like, what if you were actually the Flash in this video? Okay, now. <laughs> Probably ask her out. <laughs> oh, snap. He's gonna just do the slick move. He's gonna go up and be blunt. Be like, hello, you're hot. <laughs> Okay, well, can you do? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I want you to react to this one. I don't know if you've seen it. You might have heard of it. But I don't know if you've actually seen this. See, see this guy. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, I want you to react to it. So we'll do, we'll let you guys see it too, but we'll capture more of her reaction. Show me. <laughs> I saw this clip. Uh, me and my friends, we do this thing where sometimes we play a video tag. Uh -huh. So they send a weird clip. So you gotta either do send a weird clip of the same thing or someone just doing something weird. So it's in category of weird. Anyways, I saw this clip and I was like, 
this is very f funny and weird, and I want to see how people will react to it. Also, it might be my new outro song. Maybe. Maybe the intro. If I meet the person in real life, like, hey, shout out to you, because it's awesome. Hey, okay, so there's this uh, show or series happening on this YouTube channel where it's called um, you know, Besties Pick and Picks My, my Day. Um, <clears throat> basically, the show is just, uh, sorry for the technical difficulties, this is episode uh, one, so it's going to be like that. But hopefully it's a little bit entertaining. Also, our uh, producer got mad, so uh, we're back. Anyways, uh, sometimes you search weird stuff up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I just so happened to stumble upon this called uh, Bestie Picks Bay. What wormhole you know? were you open? So, uh, it's just YouTube just sent me it, and I was just like, uh, I was just curious, so I clicked on it. Anyways, I'll show a little clip on it. Anyways, this channel, you owe me a shout out for a then she texted me a few months later, was like, yeah, what's right. up, what's in now? Yeah. And we hung out, then she was like, no, Dude, I'm Jared, I'm 16. I'm Charlie, and I'm Wait, 16. I want to go where he introduces himself, because I'm 16. I'm Kajani, I'm 16, and these are my besties. We're not just friends, um, we're in a band, um, together. Um, Henry. So, like, if I was on the show... I couldn't be on the show in the first place because my best friends or my besties would take any chance they would get to stab me in the back. <sighs> Besides maybe like David and Gabe. But I, I, f I feel like they would want to, but they wouldn't. You know? And maybe I would invite her, but she'd probably stab me in the back. Uh, you know. So like, so you know how he, he just introduced himself? Uh -huh. So if I was on the show, I'd be like, hey, what's up? Name's Edward, 21, like puppies. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm not in a band. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Would you guys want a video where the, the team thinks? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Do it. Do it. do it. Come on. I don't know, because it depends on who are the people that are picking. That's what it depends on. Oh, that depends on who you put in the team. Well, yeah, here's the thing. There's people in the team that are in the team because they're cool, but would I trust them to do this? No. Oh, you hear that, guys? You know? Because I, because the thing is, I know them. Like, for example, <laughs> give me, give me a person that, that you know. That I know? <clears throat> like, give me a person that you think I would pick for, for something like this. Allison. You see, I'm going to say the good and bad. Which, which, which one we start with? Uh, let, let's give a, a good taste first and then drop into the bed. Okay. She does know me. She knows my interests. And she's one of the people that know a little bit more about me than the other people do. Here's the bad. I was joking one time. I was like, what if I made a, a fake dating profile just to see what my responses were going to be? And I had her make the profile. She would put something cheesy like, I like long watch walks on the beach and some corny stuff like that. So that's where I'm like, mm, I don't think it would work. You know, like I don't, I don't think so. Like, Ooh. you know. So that's why, Allison, she would fall more in like the maybe section. Like, <sighs> mid, mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Ooh. You hear that? So, Cameron, go so, go out. I don't know, like, it would be also, it would be the same thing for John, too, you know, just so it looks like we're not picking Allison, like, maybe, maybe not, and then for you, this is the hardest, because it can either go definitely yes, definitely no, and I would know as soon as I would tell you, from the look on your face, I would be like, this is gonna work, or, oh shoot, she's gonna stab me in the back. <laughs> My stab me in the back is like she's going to pick like the worst possible person just to mess with me. <laughs> Which would be funny and I would give you your props, but then I'll also be like I was on the show to actually give it a shot, but okay, you know. I feel like you would make a good video though, like 
You'd be happy about the video, but you would not be happy, but, you know. How about if I just did the video, then you didn't even have to go out with that person? No. <laughs> that messed up? It'd be a video date. <laughs> and just be like that, and then she would think we're going on a date, and I'm like, alright, cool, thanks for filming this with me. <laughs> just walks out. Hi. <gasps> you wouldn't. No, you you go on the date. Right? Mm. You're right. I don't know. It depends on who, whoever picks it. I'm making the best person ever. <laughs> I'm gonna be like you see, 10 out of 10. Even that, even that's bad because you would rub it in my face. You got the word like, oh, you really got married to me. I'll go like, yeah, okay. Wedding speech. Otherwise, <laughs> we did this show and like stuff were happening. Go to beer. So, yeah, so that's why. Might do that video, might possibly not. You know, 80, 90, 10. 90, I don't do 10%. I don't know, someone has to talk into me again. <clears throat> uh, do you know who the mysterious advisor is? Who? 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 Do you know who the mysterious advisor is? You know who's the person that advises me to do to do the stuff or not do the stuff? Um, you're very secretive. I feel like you haven't quite said yet. Like, you're like, you've hinted towards who it is. To me and to Allison, but you haven't like said the person thing. I don't even know. This is how secretive he is. And like I am the queen at finding stuff out, and I don't even know. Came surprises. Oh my god. Uh do you do you catch up on YouTube news? Yeah, all the time. So what do you think of uh Jake Paul and Tana getting married? That is for sure for show. 100% clickbait. They're doing good with the clickbait. You can't lie. He also bought her a fake car. Did you he, see that? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I, I see that point, but here's the thing. He's also made videos where he spins a wheel and gets a tattoo. You know? So my thing is that, my thing is this. He's done this before for, for fake, but then it turned out to be real with that person. Oh you know what gosh, I mean? Yeah. So, so my thing is that if he makes this way bigger than he did before, mm -hmm. it might actually be real. Me. So I'm saying it's fake, but there's also a little space where it might actually be real. Like, it might actually be true. And then shout out to you, Jake Paul, because, um, single life is, uh, single life sucks. I mean, I gotta say, they are perfect for each other. They're both crazy, party animals. But yes, they're, they're one of those couples that you look at and you're like, they're good together, and yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm shocked. Like you're like, wow, those are they actually work, you know? You're like wow. Mm. <clears throat> uh also, I don't know if you know this too, but uh Logan Paul is doing these uh, challenger games where he's inviting big entertainers slash influencers to do uh track and field events. Uh, if you don't know the only reason why I'm saying it, it's because it's for a good cause, you can like donate money for charity and stuff. Uh it takes place July twenty seventh. And what would be an entertainer you would like to see participate in this event? Mr. Beast. I think he might be there actually because they're actually friends. So I think Wouldn't that be the best be. though? He's just like the go-to. Need to get Mr. Beast. He'd be so fun. So, so, so would you enjoy seeing him like jump hurdles, run the 100 meters and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it'd be funny because, like, he always makes other people do challenges for money, so... I want to see one of the Avengers be there. One of the actors that play it. Oh, and that'd be cool, that'd yeah. Be Captain America doing a freaking, like, uh, 100 meter race. And he does it just like in the Captain America movie where he's running. And, and uh, Sam, like, Sam is next to him and he just goes... He goes on your left. I think that would be pretty cool. Or Iron Man. I think... I, the one I could see doing it for sure, because he's like such a funny guy. Like two guys, two that I could see doing it. I could see Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds doing it, and I could see that Spider-Man doing it. They both are like jokesters. Like, you see them all over the internet making jokes. I feel like they would for sure be on it. I mean, I'm going to watch it, so. We'll find out. We'll, we'll see who, who's there and who's out there. Anyways, I mean, it's cool because it all started with a tweet that he did where he was like, um... I bet a hundred thousand dollars on the fastest YouTuber, and you know he made this event, which is pretty cool. Kind of jealous. I want to make an event like that, maybe one day. 
Hey, not today. Uh, if you could collab with someone on YouTube, who would it be? This is going to be weird, because she's not even big. Her name is Andrea Russett, and she's she's big in her own world, but, like, she's not huge. I feel like I'd have so much fun hanging out with her. Shout out. She is just, like, the most real YouTuber, and I just have so much fun watching her, because I just feel like I'm hanging out with, like, the friends, you know? Like, I always like those real people. I'd also have a lot of fun with the vlog squad, though. I'd be hyped to meet them. And, like, David, I feel like that'd be fun. I would, uh, I would do a collab, but I would like to be on, I'd be on, I would like to be on Logan Paul's podcast. They talk about some cool stuff. In there. And that, that would be it, just the podcast. Maybe in the videos, too, I don't know. Because, uh, I don't know. I, I see, especially Logan, we have a lot of similarities. You know, you take away, like, his fame and stuff like that, like, we have some, we have some similarities. I think that's why I like seeing him. It's like, it's I get it. I get it why he does the dumb decisions and stuff like that. Oh, I do it too, so. Oh, whatever. Um, let's go back to the education thing. And let's. We, we've goofed off for. We've seen some stuff and whatnot. Let's do it. So you're a teacher. Um, mm -hmm. Or you want to be a teacher. Education system. Mm -hmm. Good, bad, in between. What do you think? I feel we've had our downfall as of recently. Um, it's not terrible, it's just the head of the education department isn't somebody that I would put there. She is rich, never been a teacher or any type of principal or anything, so I don't necessarily like her very much. Um, also, uh, teachers just got told that they cannot take out um, being part of a teaching unit, a union out of their pay anymore. Now, they don't pay you back for getting into the teachers union in the states anymore doesn't count. So that's that too. Thanks, President. Appreciate that. My my idea of it is I think they need to press the restart button. You know, kind of start all over. Because there's, there's stuff that I've learned from like family and stuff. Like, you know, like uh, money wise or bit. No. <laughs> it's from Wes right here. Are you recording? Yes. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. us. Uh, anyways, yeah, I think they hit the restart button. But I'm 21. Money-wise, I'm doing well. But that's because uh, I know family members that, you know, they have their own businesses and stuff. And I just learned from them. But, like, I think other people, there's certain stuff that high school and maybe, like, the last year of middle school that could, like, help you in, like, real world. So I think if they press the restart button and they do something like that, then it might be better than what it is right now. I agree. I also think we'd have better teachers and we got better pay. All right, guys. <clears throat> that was the, uh, I guess, podcast, whatever you want to call it. I have no name for it. None at all. So if you can help me out with that, that'll be fine. I'll come up with ideas. Anyways, thank you, uh, Alicia, for being our first guest. It just kind of made sense. You just showed up and this happened. So it was not planned. It just, just happened. So anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, hit the like button. Hope you guys watched all the way. Hopefully it was sort of entertaining. It is the first time I'm doing this. Kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. Um, but I think it'll get better as they go on and then maybe sooner or later Alicia will show up again in a future podcast so uh, yeah uh, let me know in the comments uh, whether you want me to pick the next guest or you have a certain uh, team member you want to see next like uh, whoever and uh, yeah like subscribe if you haven't join team misfit if you subscribe join the movement uh, we are going to do some great things uh, for the second half of the year and I'll see you guys later peace peace Yeah, they can't hold us back